My name is Fred Jocelyn. We're out here in Harrisburg at City Island putting on the uh, Harrisburg Santa Shuffle. This is the second running of the Santa Shuffle. And what we do is everyone that signs up gets a Santa suit and everyone runs a 5K with their Santa suit on. Something we do for fun to build some camaraderie, to get out here and enjoy the season together. And people really just seem to enjoy it and get into the spirit. Nowhere else are you going to see several hundred Santas running all in one time. The Santa Shuffle started in 2019. That was our first year. It's something that's kind of uplifting. It's really fun to see all the Santas going across the bridge and going up the path on Front Street. So we're excited to be out here and running with all of the other Santas. Everyone loves dressing like Santa. It is the highlight of our race season. Um, it's just so much fun. I am Ralphie from A Christmas Story, dressed as the Easter Bunny. We have about 99% Santas here, and we always have a few other uh, people that kind of sneak in. You know, we welcome the Easter Bunny. Uh, we allow the Easter Bunny to come to the Santa Shuffle and participate just like everybody else. There's usually a few characters from classic movies. We saw Uncle Eddie's here today, so nice for him to stop by. Uh, so we have a few people that, you know, kind of come in uh, different costumes, but that's all part of the fun. Last year, unfortunately, we didn't have one, so we are really excited to bring it back this year. So this was the second running, and next year we'll have our third running and hopefully be even bigger. We had about 500 runners, so we have a, a huge crowd already, and we're excited to, to grow that even more. My name is Andrew Edwards. Oh wait, sorry. My name is Santa Claus. In January, I, I decided I didn't want to be 350 pounds anymore, so I, so I am no longer 350 pounds. Themed events like this are great because, because well, first, the length of the race is uh, reasonable for everybody to participate, which is important because when you're doing a theme like this, you're not, you know, rigged out in like the most expensive stuff in the world. You know, you, you can go biking, but bikes are expensive and yeah, there, there really is no more cost-effective exercise. Cost-to-benefit ratio, running is where you want to be. Um, you know, you build that cardio up and then literally everything else becomes easier. We just welcome anyone to come out. It's, it's, a, it's a really fun experience and people of all abilities, walkers, runners, people that just want to have fun, come on out and enjoy it. Literally anybody can show up to this thing. It's, it really is about the inclusivity of this type of thing. You know, when you're building a community, you have to build it from the ground up. I'm running with my friends from Athletes Serving Athletes. Athletes Serving Athletes is an organization um, that helps people living with limited, limited to no mobility run races. So we push them in jogging strollers through races from 5Ks up through marathons. We focus on it being a fun run. We do have some overall uh, awards for the fastest runners, but really the theme is to come out here, have fun, and then everyone afterwards has hot chocolate, enjoy some treats, and just the, you know, the, the time together. Why you specifically come to an event like this, it's because willpower is, uh, is limited. It's in limited supply. So if you have a community around you, that's driving you to continue forward, then uh, everything becomes a lot easier. I've been a runner my whole life. My wife and I opened uh, the Fleet Feet store in Mechanicsburg six years ago. And one of the things we wanted to do is get involved with races and be able to share our passion with people around us. And so we've been you know, avid runners ourselves. And so being able to be on this side of it and putting on events and trying to build that part of the community has been really exciting for us and just something that's it's really nice to be able to give back and still be able to participate in a slightly different way. 